your hush now child and I'm on YouTube and I'll be with you and your man and his friend I'm just playing I'm single and I'm peaceful hey all right anyways I wanted to make a video on my acne journey so I know a ton of people struggle with acne, including myself. I still struggle with acne, but I wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys insight of what I went through, my journey, how I got it to stay a little more tamed, things I learned, and just to give you some confidence in yourself to continue to live your life, even if you feel like your skin is broken out, even if people are making comments on your skin, do not ever put a pause on your life. I started getting acne right when I started puberty. So back in seventh grade, got my period, I started getting acne. And I can't even say when I got my, when I started puberty because your girl had hairy armpits in third grade. The first person to have hair in my entire grade, I was hairy. So I, I obviously started a little early. Yeah, I started with little tiny bumps on my forehead and I was so insecure about that. Eventually over time, like I kept trying different face washes and I was trying all these different skincare regimens. I was drinking apple cider vinegar, constantly watching YouTube videos, how to clear my skin. I had a gallon of water all the time and nothing was working. In fact, it was just getting worse. And over the years, it started to become cystic. It started to go down to my cheeks. Like for years, it was all just my forehead. And then it started going to my cheeks and it was really painful, really red. I'll put some pictures on here. Um, but it oh, it destroyed my confidence. I, I would be in school and there was many times where I left school just because I was so insecure that day and I would just go home and cry. Like, it would take so much for me to get up and go to school and then I'd get there, maybe say a little bit of first period and I'd get up and go to the bathroom and go home. Like, that was a lot of my junior and senior year. Just a lot of leaving class, going home, feeling sucky about myself. And what didn't help was there were some girls who would call me pepperoni face or the bottom of a crunch bar. It took me a minute to like realize why they were calling me crunch bar. And then I, and then I, okay, it's the bottom of it. Okay. I, I, I look back and I laugh at that now, but it hurt. It hurt in the moment. I was like, damn, I was crunch bar. Like what? <laughs> but um, all to say it's like, one thing I had to realize and tell myself was I have to forgive myself. This is out of my control because number one, I don't know the root cause. My parents both had severe acne. I can't let this, this put a stop on my life. And if someone doesn't like me because of my acne, then they're not someone who's meant to be in my life because the people that are important to me, that love me, are gonna love me and appreciate me no matter what's on my face. So it's like, I had to remind myself that every single day and I had to remind myself that acne is not forever. Like there are some people who their acne goes into their adult years. And it's just a matter of, you know, balancing your hormones, figuring out what's triggering your acne. One thing I'm gonna start with this whole tip, this is my biggest tip. If you take anything from this video, take this tip, do not, get on the cycle of all the acne pills. I did doxycycline twice. I did spironolactone. I don't even know how many times. I did birth control. I did everything except Accutane. It's just a spiral. It's like a cycle. It's you get on the pill, you purge. It clears up for a little amount of time and then it comes right back. It's just so sucky because it's like you'll go through that entire process and the side effects of acne pills are crazy. You've got this super dry skin. You can get moody, whatever it is. And the doctors that gave me these pills never told me any side effects. They didn't even tell me I was going to purge. I learned that from YouTube. But that's just a universal thing with antibiotics. And it's like you go through all that and then you get off of it and it comes right back. And what you, they don't tell you is you can't be on antibiotics your entire life. It kind of bites you in the back because when you're on antibiotics for a prolonged amount of time, you are messing up your gut and your gut is directly correlated with your skin. So in the 
time frame that you're trying to fix your acne, you're digging a deeper hole. And now it's like, when you get off that pill, your acne comes back and your gut's even worse. So now it's probably gonna stay even longer. And it's like, I remember my parents warning me about this when I was getting on these acne pills. Like my dad would always tell me, he's like, it's really good, bad for your gut to be on antibiotics for like six plus months. Like that's unheard of. I was just like, no, 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 I just need this acne gone. I did not listen to a word my dad said. I kind of like look back and I'm like, dang, I should have listened to him. But it's like, you live and you learn and what I will say is like the last three, four years, I've been really working on my gut health, hormones, um, you know, trying to live a more clean lifestyle, cleaner foods, no more fragrances. I was always a Bath and Body Works girl. I had a collection of all these perfumes. I stopped wearing perfumes. Now I only wear clean perfumes like Skylar Beauty or Clean Beauty Collective, Plur. Um, Salt and Stone, those are brands I really like, Pacifica. Trying to switch from those because fragrance can be a very big hormone disruptor and just things like what you clean your house with, candles. Like I've just made small switches over time and I did my research. I've done a ton of research on like gut health correlation to skin. I've really cleaned up my diet, make sure I'm getting all my macro and micronutrient needs. I'm taking my probiotics, my prebiotics. Like I'm doing all the things to correct my gut health. And yes, to this day, I still have breakouts. Like my skin has definitely improved significantly but i will say i still break out i still have moments where i get like i have some bumps around here right there but right now i am focused on getting a facial once a month i get a facial with my girl sylvie and i drink water i don't drink any soda i really stay away from sugar and dairy will break me out instantly and whey protein instantly and i was fortunate enough to be able to take a food sensitivity test and i found out that i was sensitive to green beans um sesame seeds dill cinnamon basil all dairy products so that kind of gave me a frame to like okay i need to stay away from these things for a little bit while i correct my gut but it's like you would have never thought green beans, like I, I love green beans, but it's like, you would never think that. And some people, people who are eating all these egg whites, like that can break people out. All these energy drinks are full of B vitamins that can break you out. Or like there will be gummies that say for your skin, but it's like biotin breaks me out. And almost everyone I've talked to about biotin, it breaks them out too. So it's just so ironic that those pills will tell you, oh, this is for your skin, this is for your skin. I've definitely struggled with wanting perfect skin and I've had to let go of that. That's a big tip as you're going through your acne journey is let go of the goal to have perfect skin. And that with anything in life, like being perfect, let go of that goal because perfect is not real. Like I know we look at some people like, oh, their skin is perfect, their skin is perfect. What you see online is not real, you guys. Even my TikTok videos, I look at them sometimes, I'm like, my skin does not look this clear. Like when I look in the mirror, I'm like, okay, my skin looks great, but it does not look like what it looks like on video. And it's like, whether it's the filter, whether it's because I have a little makeup on, whether it's the lighting, like there's certain lighting that makes your skin look clear. So if you compare yourself to what you're seeing online, don't do that. You're doing yourself dirty because what you see online ain't even real either. That's number one, you gotta get out the way. And it's like, you have to realize that it's normal. It's, it's normal to break out now and then, but it's like, if you can really take time to find the root cause and keep trying, don't give up. I know it's like, oh, I've tried everything. You got to keep going. You got to stick it through. And it's like, don't like let failure stop you and, and make you think that acne is just going to be forever because it's not forever. There's something causing your acne and you have just yet to find it. And it can be what you're eating. It could be something as simple as peanut butter. I remember peanut butter would break me out a lot. And I'm like, what is breaking me out? And I noticed I was eating peanut butter and dates for like two weeks and I broke out like crazy. And then I figured out it was the peanut butter. And it's like, you would never think peanut butter can be deemed a healthy food, but it's like, it's your body. All of our bodies are different and they react differently to different foods. But you have to really put your mindset in a sense of 
what you're putting in your body is what's showing on the outside. Don't blame it on genetics. As much as genetics plays a part, you have to start looking at it from like, okay, how am I treating my body? What am I putting in my body? What could be triggering this? What is my lifestyle? Am I sleeping on a dirty pillowcase? Am I touching my face all the time? Am I rubbing my phone on my face? Is someone kissing on my face? Am I packing makeup on my face and not washing it off? One thing I try to do is wear makeup makeup like never on my skin like I try to keep all products off my skin as much as possible even moisturizer if I don't need moisturizer I don't moisturize my face I just use sunscreen sunscreen every day and that keeps it light it keeps it from clogging my pores so that's that's a tip I would give I remember when my dermatologist first told me to stop wearing moisturizer I was like what when I first came to LA, I, I got a new dermatologist and she gave me like a little regimen. She was like, stop wearing moisturizer, just put on sunscreen, unless you need it. And I'm like, oh, that's true. If I don't really need it, why am I putting it on? And it's like making me greasy and oily because I'm already oily. And another thing I'll say is don't put serums on your face. Like I remember looking at like TikTok and stuff and people having these cool aesthetic 10 step routines and all these serums, vitamin C, retinol, this, that, that. Don't do all that, especially acne prone people. Those are for those people who just have great skin and they can just make it look shiny with a serum and be fine. If I put a serum on my face and I was all oiled up at night, I would wake up with pimples everywhere. Like I cannot clog my pores. My my skin is already oily enough to make it look shiny and it's not a good shiny. So it's like, I just advise keeping your skincare simple, sticking it through, continue to find out what's triggering you and stay confident. Like I know it's easier said than done, but you gotta keep living your life. Don't put a pause on your life for something temporary. Do not make permanent decisions on something temporary. Like, do not let that memory go away because of a temporary acne breakout. You know, it's not forever, I promise you. I remember when I was sitting and watching YouTube videos when I was breaking out and I heard some girl talking to me saying it's not forever. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You don't even know how much I've tried. No, I'm talking to you. It is not forever. Trust me. Eight years I've had acne and I still break out, but it's significantly less. Like I'm significantly getting closer to the goal of little to no breakouts ever. It's very rewarding because it's like, I think of how many things I've tried. So I just wanted to make this video to motivate you guys and let you know that you got this. It's not forever. Keep living your life and don't let it affect you. I promise you, you're more in your head. Like it does not look as bad as you probably are seeing it as. Like we all, we all overanalyze how we look, especially women, like probably dudes too. I mean, guys too, I feel for you too. Like I'm sure it affects your confidence just as much. And it's hard because guys can't, well, I mean, you guys can wear makeup, but it's like, it's just less normalized for men to wear makeup. So um, I can't imagine how much harder it might be because you guys don't really cover it up as much as women do. So I just wanted you guys to know that I'm feeling for you and you got this and you're, you're getting closer. Just keep trying, keep focusing on your health, keep focusing on your gut health, do it naturally. And you guys got this. I love you guys so much. See you next time.